All right, see all these black notes here? I'm gonna teach you about them. All right, so each one has two different names. That's right, two different names. Why? I don't know, to be complicated, but it's called a sharp and a flat. So when you hear sharp, it's higher. When you hear flat, it's lower. You ever hear a singer, somebody talks about a singer, oh man, she's really flat. It means she's too low on the note, okay? So let's take this black key as an example. If you go to the left of it, you see an F, which is lower. So it's called an F sharp. You go from this to high, this to higher, so it's sharp. This right here is a G. If you go from a G, it's flatter. Do you see what I mean? So each one of these, depending on where you look at it, has the same name. So it's F sharp, G flat. Let's take this for example. What's to the left of it? An A. So it's A sharp, B flat. A good way to look at it is if you're like dropping down one or raising one. It's either higher, which is sharp, lower, which is flat. So take a regular white note, right? You have C. If you were to raise it, see how it's higher sounding? That's a C sharp. Say you're starting on your white note D and you go down. It's more flat sounding. So it's a D flat. This can seem very confusing and because it is. But each of these white notes have two different names. And whatever's to the left of it, that's the sharp note. Okay? Whatever's to the right of it, that's the flat one. So this is a G right here, which means that this is G sharp. This is an A right here, which means that this is A flat. So this note, this black note, can be known as a G sharp or an A flat. My advice is to go to different points on the piano just to get the feel of this. Okay, like right here, or right here, right here, right here. And you look at it to the left, that's an F. So I know this is an F sharp. To the right, that's a G. So I know this is a G flat. Hope that helped you guys. All right, bye.